Hey, this is Miles J. And I'm not here to sing to you today. I want to take just a moment of your time to discuss a few issues impacting the plight of uh, my fellow Floridian, uh, Sister Marissa Alexander. Uh, first, I want to read just an excerpt of a book I just finished writing um, called So You Think You Know Your Rights. And it's, um, it's very personal. It's about uh, a moment in my childhood that I had to recall to um, share this, uh, uh, this issue with you. Um, it's called Domestic Violence. Um, I was dozing when I heard, I'll kill you. I will kill your bleep bleep. I had never heard my father speak to my mother that way. Why was he even at our house? My parents had been separated for quite some time, so I didn't understand why he was even there or what had set him off. I never knew him to be violent, so this was crazy. And my big brother and sister were away at college, so I felt completely lost. I felt fear, hate, and helplessness all at the same time. And as I lay quiet on my twin bed in the next room, I wanted to rush to my mom's aid, to her defense, jump on my father's back and choke him out. But I just lay there, motionless. What was I to do? When you think about Marissa Alexander, I just want you to think of just a few of these points that I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to show you with, with my hashtag cards. I want you to think about justice in America or the lack thereof. I want you to think about violence in America and how we promote it and per perpetuate it and then ultimately punish it. I want you to think about domestic violence. Think about Florida law, Florida laws. Used to be the sunshine state, now we're the stand your ground state. Think about stand your ground. Think about mandatory minimums. If you don't know about mandatory minimums, Google it, look it up, ask somebody what that means. Ask somebody what the real application of mandatory minimums are and whether or not there should be some common sense adjudication when a sentence is, is handed down. Think about 20 years in the defense of your yourself, your household, your home, your children. Think about 20 years defending yourself. This next section is for men. This is something I want men to think about. Um, when it comes to your woman, your girlfriend, your wife, you want her to fear you, you want her to trust you. It's real simple. You don't need a judge, you don't need legislation to tell you how to treat your woman. You want to make her laugh or you want to make her cry. This is about family. This is about our families. Our families make our communities. Our families raise our kids. We can inflict joy or we can inflict anger and pain. This is, this is for men. This is something for us to think about when we claim we love someone. When we claim we love someone. You chose that woman. She's worthy of love. She's worthy of your protection. So it's really simple. Go all the way back to kindergarten. Go back to grade school. Go back to what your teacher taught you. Your parents taught you. Your grandparents taught you. Your neighbors. No hitting. Keep your hands to yourself. It's not that complicated. Keep your hands to yourself. This would never, we wouldn't be talking about this right now. There would be no case. There would be no sentence. There would be no 20 years. There would be no new trial. Keep your hands to yourself. Stop terrorizing the people you love. So, concluding, I say justice for Marissa. This is from my Justice for Marissa. These are the last few. Peace for Marissa. I'm almost done. Peace can only come with freedom for Marissa. Peace for Marissa, her children, the community, Marissa's my mama. I called her sister Marissa Alexander in the beginning, but as I read that story to you and I tell you how I related to it, Marissa's my mama, your mama, your grandmama. This is Miles J. I'm out. Um, you want to tell me what you think? You can reach me at miles.j at gmail.com. That's it. I'm done. Thank you for your time. Peace. God bless.